hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP how to display data from MySQL PHP my admin database into a drop down list control using PDO data objects enter and here we got the final output of the code the header tags horizontal line and the select option drop down list control see here the country names are binary into this drop down list control let's check the database table also see here the store procedure c name is binary into the drop down list control using store procedure if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates i just logged into my sql php my admin database before writing the coding part in php first we'll check the table name to bind the data into a drop down list control and notice here i have opened the country table which contains two columns cid and c name now my aim is i want to bind this c name which is a country name column into a drop down list control using store procedure let's create a new store procedure in the sample db database click the sample db database and notice in the sample db home page rodents here click that one create a new add routine the, the routine name is huh? sp store procedure country store procedure is a store procedure name select the type which is a procedure only and the parameters the direction is the output I'm adding C name which is a column name the data type is a varchar the length is 50 now I'm writing the select query in the definition select start from the table name table name is a country see what you want here country semicolon that's it click go and here the store procedure country sp has been created this one let's execute and the store procedure is executed successfully let's write the coding part in php i am using notepad plus plus to write the php code PHP now in this PHP code the first thing I'm adding my SQL PHP my admin database objects dollar host name is equals to local host the second variable I'm adding the database name the database name is a sample db dollar username is equals to the username is a root dollar password the password i'm leaving empty because i don't have any password to log into my sql php my admin so i'm leaving blank on it after adding the connection string variables now i'm connecting to my php my admin database using pdo data objects dollar con is equals to new pdo between double quotes first thing i'm adding the database my sql double colon host is equals to host name copy this one and paste here semicolon db name is equals to the second variable database name which is a db name comma i'm adding the username comma the last one i'm adding the password dollar row is equals to 
dull con object I'm adding prepare method between double quotes I'm adding the store procedure name my store procedure name is just copy this one paste here remove the single quotes dollar row execute method dollar result is equals to dollar row fetch all method echo I'm adding center tag echo h1 I'm closing the h1 tag display data from my SQL PHP my admin database into drop down list echo h2 I'm closing the h2 tag using store procedure in php pdb objects echo horizontal line after adding the h1 s2 header tags and horizontal line in php the drop down list control we use the html objects which are the select option elements echo select echo option option Now I'm using for each loop to fetch the column C name and bind into this option HTML element. For each loop, dollar result this variable as output echo. option value is equals to single quotes dollar output now in the square brackets I'm adding the column name of the country table which is a C name just copy this one and paste here that's it we have binded the CNAME column from the country table into this select option control let's close the select HTML element and the last one we have to close the center tag that's it we have done the coding part let's save this file I'm saving this file into this root folder www the video hyphen drop down list store procedure dot php I'm saving the file now it's time to check the results on the browser enter and here we got the final output of the code.
the header tags horizontal line and the select option drop down list control see here the country names are binary into this drop down list control let's check the database table also see here the store procedure c name is binary into the drop down list control using store procedure that's it